guys, and welcome back to Alan Wake. When we last left off, uh, we were following this weird darkness thing um, on its never-ending journey to destroy the forest. So let's continue. Oh, hello. Have some stuff. Hopefully some good... What the hell's that? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Right, okay. Wasn't quite expecting him to insult me. That's a little bit childish, but okay. Oh, flare gun. Not bad, not bad. Alan, look, buddy, I've got to talk to you about this whole insta-switching to, like, the weapon you last picked up. That is a really bad thing in gaming. Can we even turn that off? Um... I'm going to say no. Direct aiming. I don't even know what that is. Nope. Not going to be in graphics, is it? Okay, well, I guess we can't. I know in some of the old um, competitive FPS games, you could keep that on or turn it off. Some people liked it on, some people liked it off. Uh, I never really liked it. Because I used to hate when you're running over a new weapon, um, it would auto switch to that. And sometimes you'd like have a rocket launcher in your hand, and you'd run over something shitty. Birds. Ooh, lots of birds. Yeah, you'd run over something like the machine gun, and it would auto switch, and then you get killed and insulted and called a noob. Come on, you bastards! So that yeah. I'm here, waiting for you. We really need to get one of these high beam, um, oh shit, high beam lights. Ultra bright LEDs. Alright, let's get across this. Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh shit, incoming Alan, direct ahead. Need a flat cannon, flat cannon of light. Right, they're gone. Okay. Oh, God. Before... Oh, Alan. Alan, Alan, Alan. That was rather silly of you, wasn't it? You Boys. silly sausage. Right, let's go over here. Oh, God, run! Right, first wave of birds. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Kill them. Okay, we couldn't kill these for some reason. And why is there two waves this time? Oh well. Oh, we cooked some of them. Right. Let's try that again, shall we, buddy? Oh shit, I really don't like the idea of jumping on these things. To be fair. Oh hell. Where'd you come from? You snaky gits. God damn it. Hey fellas. Uh oh. Ah, that lot's dead. Where's the light? Can't quite see it yet. Ah, I've got a few of them at least. Come on. Come into my light. There we go. Almost got them. Guess we can just trace them. Aren't really worth the battery power, these guys. A little bit more. Alan must look like a madman. There we go. Right, now, whilst our torch is recharging... Oh, hello. Are we here already? Well, I mean, it looks like it, I suppose. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, Christ. Well, I guess there's no going back now. Right, let's see if we can grab a hunk of silver whilst we're here. Might as well make the trip worth it. Okay, well this place is nice and ominous. Wonder if we're gonna find loads of dead reanimated um, miners. The ambience, ooh, the ambience here is fantastic. Hello, who said that? Oh, don't tell me she's dead, man. That would, you know, that would suck. 
quite a bit if she's actually dead. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Right. Are we going the right way? What the fuck? All right. Yeah, I th Alice? Alice? Whoa, she's gone again. Okay. I guess that's the way we're supposed to be going. Now, there was another way up here. Hopefully, there's a manuscript page or something. At least I assume there was another way up here. It looked like it. Yeah. But that that seems like the way to go. Hmm. That has to be the way to go. I'm confused. Let's go back down the hole. Uh, I mean, it's only going to be like hidden stuff that we lose. Uh, yeah, like collectibles. I can always grab off camera. But I'd still like to get them if I can. It's quite interesting for a bit of flavour. Going down here, hearing her, like, I don't know, get kidnapped again, I guess. And hauled off into the darkness. Oh, hello. What do we have here? What? I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Oh, shite. Has she been drowned? Oh, shit. That would be dark, man. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Uh, okay. Interesting. Alright. Well, I'm glad we did come down here. That was quite interesting. I wonder if there's any more bits like that that we may have missed. I think I've been fairly thorough. I mean, obviously not perfect because we have missed some pages but I don't know I think we've been, we've got most of the stuff I always hate missing stuff especially little bits like that because that was pretty interesting I'm definitely thinking that Alice might be dead that would be really shit well maybe not shit but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a pleasant ending. But then, you know, I'm always up for a dark ending. But it's always more satisfying when uh, everybody survives, I find. Or well, not necessarily everybody, but at least some people is always nice. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. Hmm. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Huh. So, yeah. He's an alky. Oh. So that's the way we want to go. Oh. Revolver, ammo, and hunting rifle. We don't have a hunting rifle, but uh, we'll take it. I am starting to wonder, should we have taken the hunting rifle? Not sure. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we're not going that... Oh, God. Hello. Hello. All accidents. Oh, out. Someone's giving us a slap. 
Right, deploy the flashbangs. There we go. Jeez, we're in trouble. We're in some serious trouble. Nope, you get back, sunshine. There you go. Well, we managed to get through that. I thought we were in for some serious chop then. Right, let's keep going. Hey, coffee. There you go, buddy. Fight the chill with some of that. Oh, what have we got up here? Apart from another way we probably can't go. Any chance of a manuscript page? No, I guess not. Asking for too much again. Right, well, no time to worry about that. All right. Nothing there. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Yeah. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, Alan. One step at a time, buddy. Don't want to lose your legs now, do you? Oh, okay. Oh, right. So how far can this go down? Pretty damn far, actually. Right, well, let's get to the other side for now. Let's see if there actually is any... Oh, shit. See if there is anything over here. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. I was hoping for some secrets, but uh, I'll take a ladder for sure. Got another button. Buttons are usually good. Right, let's go up another set of floors. Okay, this is getting dodgier. Ah, how... Okay, let's have a little bit of an explore. What's over here? It's a ladder. I suppose the way we're supposed to go, maybe? No pages? Right, well, let's set her up a notch. Like so. Okay, I thought this bit was going to be really puzzly and kind of challenging, but I guess not. Hasn't really been any puzzles in this game. But then, it hasn't really felt like a game that would benefit from puzzles. Not every game needs puzzles, for sure. So that's where we need to go. Oh, I see. Kick it down. I guess that's about as puzzly as we're going to get. Right, set her up, buddy. All the way to the top. Not that not not that high, bud. We still do have to get on it, remember? There you go. Okay, cool. Any goodies? I'm surprised. I'm surprised that there's been no manuscript pages or something here. Seems like a little bit of a lost. Or a missed opportunity, actually. Unless maybe there were and we just didn't notice them. Which is unlikely. Well, <clears throat> this place seems creaky as hell. I'd hate to have to work in a mine. Whoa. This gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. Okay, so we can go up. Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? I'm s I'm thinking we want to go down. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Some flares. Nice. I forget how many flares we can carry, actually. I keep thinking tens are max, but I guess not. Now, can we get up there? Doesn't... Yeah, we can. 
Manuscript page, please. That would be fantastic. Yeah, yep. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, focus. Look at that. Now, apparently this game um, mirrors Twin Peaks quite a bit. I've never seen it. So I can't say. I'm, I don't watch many series or films or anything like that. I just play games. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh, shit. Well. It's not the nicest thing I've ever heard done to a nurse. So I guess, um... They're not just harmless sunshine and smiles after all. Dementia... <clears throat> Dementia is a terrible thing. Okay. No coffee up here, actually. Really? I guess not. Right, let's move on. Uh, sorry, Alan. You didn't really need those legs anyway, did you, buddy? Knees are overrated. Said nobody ever. Hey, more birds. Oh, shit. Don't worry about the birds, Alan. They're not that bad. Am I going to eat my words? Probably. They're yeah, not as bad as the krill. From Gears of War. The krill were always really weird. I mean, they were in the first game. And they were like a constant, massive threat. And then we never even heard of them again. I guess the developers said, like, yeah, I don't really like them. Let's just forget they even happened. It's like in Mass Effect, um, and the first game, all your weapons overheated, which I thought was a real stupid mechanic. And in the second game and beyond, we've suddenly invented magazine type things or thermal clips. Like, yeah, okay, just great. Okay, this is not going to go well, is it? You know, it would be surprising. Is if this does go well. It's alright, Alan. The tree monster isn't here yet. Here it comes. Oh, birds. That's okay. We can hand. Oh, Christ. We can handle some birds, I think. And there we go. You lot are down. Let's unleash the flare. Come on, you rickety piece of shit. Hold together. And it's going to burn out just as these guys are going to come to attack, isn't it? There we go. Oh, does it just chase them off? It doesn't actually kill them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's interesting. The flare just goes straight through the bottom. Hey, the tree monster's back. Don't want to be the bearer of bad news, Alan, but I think this is about to go south. Um, am I in control? I guess not. Okay. For a crash landing, that wasn't too bad. Hey, guys. I really didn't think you were going to forget about us, to be honest. Come on, buddy. Hello. Have some bullets. I know you're fond of them. Okie dokie. Okay. Quite. Any goodies around here? Probably not. Well. Shit. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, Alan. That was unexpected. Well, at least we know how the boat got to um, Rose's little trailer park. It flew. <clears throat> I 
I'd always like a flying boat. That sounds pretty handy. Right, so this is where we should have got off. Okay. Come on, Alan. Let's keep moving forwards. Always move forwards. Never backwards. Plenty of red herbage around here. Hey. Looks like the darkness is coming. Well, I say let it come. Oh, hello. See, again, we've got the choice to switch to the hunting rifle. But I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I'm really not. Oh, God. Hey, guys. Nice to see you. Not. Where are you? Coming to the light. Good guys. There we are. Oh, buddy. Yes. Thank you for that. Okay, cool. Right, sod the hunting rifle. Is there no goodies in here? Is it just the... Well, I say is there no goodies, I mean... No, pick up the ammo. Because we may get the hunting rifle at some point. Here come some more dogs. There you go. Got a little trick for you this time, though. Oh, God. Right, you bastard. Pissed off the wrong rider. Hey, guys. And a little bit for you, too. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten about you. Come on, buddy. Let's see that little smile of yours. Okay, cool. Right, we are slightly running out of ammo. Kind of. Oh, this is out of the darkness. Oh, Christ. We've... So hang on. Somehow fallen down here. This place looks like it could have secrets. Hello? Really? None? Nothing? Zilch? Game, you're a harsh, mis a harsh mistress, for sure. Ah, well. Let's get out of here. Okay. Probably not the best idea to break all of our legs there. Alright. Let's keep going. Uh, back into the darkness. Let's try and get our breath back first. Yep. Definitely um, a lot of it here. And, you know, I'm always conflicted. Do we fight these guys? Do we not bother? I mean, fighting them is fun. So, I guess I've answered my own question, really. But it doesn't seem necessary to fight them. However, they are faster than us. So, we can't... You can't really evade them. Because they are bloody quick. And every time we try to evade them, they always catch up with us. Hey, nice. Got some more flares. Topped out on batteries. That's fine. Read. Read. Oh, right, 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 right. Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a Kalindria Lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. Even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. I thought miners died. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright Falls area. Well, as central as a central figure in many local, f oh, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales, it's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Okay, sounds sounds nice. All right. Oh, hello. Spot this little area up here. Any goodies? I'll take anything. A, f a thermos. Even a stack of cans. We haven't seen a stack of cans for a little while, actually. To be fair. 
Now, apparently, to get the achievement for the, the cans, you only need to get five of the twelve. Well, this looks safe. Alan, just, just run. Just go for it, buddy. Seriously, you're going to force me to walk through this. I bet there's going to be birds, too. No, there's going to be knobheads instead. Oh, that's okay. Dodge. Dodge past them. Yeah, I don't really want to fight on the bridge. There you go. What do you think of that? Not so nice, is it? Have some bullets. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come get some. Is that dick? Oh, yeah, the big guy's still coming. Hey, big guy. Have some light. Oh, God. Have some light. There's plenty of light to go around, my friend. In fact, for you, I have a special friend. There we go. Three cartridges does the job. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Now, this area is quite big. There could be some places to explore here. Oh, like here, for instance. Flare guns. You know, we got a lot of flare guns. And we can hear something breathing. Now, the, my only concern, really, is if we don't use all this equipment, like our shotgun and our flare guns and, oh, all that cool stuff, are we just going to lose it all in a minute at the end of the chapter? Because we've got a lot of equipment. Mod had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he found their car parked at the end of the road by Calder Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Oh. Well, I guess he... Hang on. So how did he get her? Hmm, interesting. Alright, we're going into the darkness again. Can we go up there? We can. Is this the way... I think this is actually the correct way to go. So what's down here then? Probably. Yeah, a fat load of nothing. Ah, well. Come on, Alan, let's get this done. Let's find out what the heck's going on around. Ooh. Kick. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. Oh. This looks rather picturesque. This actually reminds me of Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. The hospital. Not 100% sure why. Hey, coffee. Good, nourishing, sweet. Well, not exactly sweet, but coffee. Kind of bitter, really. Or burnt coffee's bitter, anyway. Ooh. The hell is this? Tom, Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom? You talk to me on TV. CWTZ. Okay. Interesting. Well, we've got some bullets. And we also have a checkpoint. And unfortunately, that checkpoint means the video's over. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thanks for watching. When we come back, I guess we're going to find out what the hell's happening in this room. Well, hopefully we're going to find out what's happening here because it seems a bit odd, to say the least. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.